much of this wind is really taking a toll on trees in the area. And as we speak, Dayton crews are doing all they can to clear the debris. They've got the machinery they need, but they are asking for help from residents. Because of all of the trees blocking residential streets and alleys within the city, officials are pushing back recycling pickup by one day. They will try to keep the trash pickup as scheduled, however. Now, for your part, crews ask that if you have debris blocking their access to your trash bins, you need to call them to let them know so that they can clear that. We spoke with the director of Dayton's Public Works Department in the last hour. He says he's toured the city, and he is now comparing some of the tree damage to the windstorm we saw back in 2008. We have a lot of cleanup work to do with uh, clearing the streets. Our first priority is going to clear the blockage of the streets and the alleys where you can't pass through the streets or get through the alley. That's our first priority. Now, all of the cleared blockage will be taken to Wagner Ford Landfill, and the city is doing something a little special for residents because of the extreme circumstances here. They say if you can drag any of the debris you've got in your yard up to the curb, they will come and pick that up for you free of charge. You don't have to cut it up into pieces as you normally would. All you have to do is call the city and let them know that it's sitting there. The number for that is 333-4800. Just let them know that it's there waiting for them. That is also the number to call if you need to report any sort of blockage again in front of your trash bins so that they can clear that before they send the crews out there. And coming up tonight starting at 5, we'll talk to you a little bit about what the city is planning to do with all this debris. It might actually make us some money. Reporting live in Dayton, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side. Hey, thanks.